Hey, it's Cliff, and I have a few critiques on the Sologenic Decentralized Exchange, so I want to bring those up to share with you, and maybe you feel the same way about these critiques. You can let me know in the comments. So just kind of moving into this, I want to reiterate that the Solo airdrop is set for distribution 20 January, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a great day. We're going to get our Solo airdrop, and everything should be great with that. Now, for this NFT marketplace, it is set to go live the 27th. However, some users will be able to access it the 25th. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those users, but if you are, let me know. And basically what I was trying to do is I was trying to, I want to do a tutorial video on how to create NFTs with this exchange. So what I was doing is I was setting myself up in their, their decks so that I would, you know, be able to just go in there really quick and start working on the NFTs. So here's what I have here. This is their, this is their Dex. So you can go here, click access Dex, and then it takes you this uh, page here, which is just the same thing. I don't know why they have this redundant page, but you can click this again and you go into their exchange. Now, just kind of messing around with this, it seems like most of their prices are pinged from either GitHub or Bitstamp, which is cool. I, I do like the interface, it's pretty awesome. But um, one of the issues that I had is that, okay, so I'm in the exchange, I can see the right hand corner up here to connect your wallet. So they have Solo Wallet, Ledger Device, Descent, and your Zoom Wallet. Well, I, personally, I'm not going to give them my actual wallet. I want a space on here where they can create a wallet for me. I will transfer money into that as I want to utilize making NFTs or buying on this, you know, whatever. So immediately I'm thinking, okay, well, they should be able to set me up with a solo wallet. Well, you can't do that on this interface. So they have create new wallet up here. I click that and it takes you to this page, which is a page for either your Google Play Store or your App Store. So essentially my critique here is what they're, what they're doing is they, I'm already on the page. Like you, I should be able to set up a wallet on this page, but instead what they want you to do is go grab your phone, make an account on there, create a wallet, and then link the wallet to this marketplace, which just seems like a extra step to me. I don't know why it's being done like this. And uh, I mean, I can sign up for Coinbase and they'll create me a wallet right there. So I don't know why it's, this is being done like this, but that's fine. Um, so what I did, I actually downloaded the app. I created a Cylogenic wallet, but it brought me to this page, which is what this is right here. This is a snapshot that I took at my iPhone. So as you can see, we can scroll down here and you get to their terms of service. And it says on this page, I understand that if I lose my passwords pins, and it's cut off. Below it says Teams to help me. Now I, I understand like most people probably don't even read the terms of service, but when I saw that, I'm like, okay, well, what what am I agreeing to? Because that seems pretty important. If I lose my passwords, are you telling me that it's gone for good? I lost all my money? Or are you telling me that I can contact the team? They'll be able to help me out? I have no idea. And I even there's a spot in here where you can open up the actual bigger agreement and read through it. I saw nothing on here. So they they really need to work on their user interface because I don't I don't know what I'm agreeing to here. But other than that, so far it's looking it's looking decent. I mean, I can't complain too much here. We'll see when we actually do something with the exchange, but um, I just wanted to point out some critiques because I'm not here to shill you on any sologenic if I see some issues going on, and these are probably minor bugs that can be corrected, but if I see issues, I want to point them out. So let me know if you've had any issues, and I'll see you next video.